my honourable friend, the member for Leeds West, for securing this debate on such an important topic that she's championed so well. I'd like to start by reading a short excerpt from one of my favourite stories. Yes, said the bear, I emigrated, you know. A sad expression came into his eyes. I used to live with my Aunt Lucy in Peru, but she had to go into a home for retired bears. You don't mean to say you've come all the way from South America by yourself, exclaimed Mrs Brown. The bear nodded. But you can't just sit on Paddington Station waiting for something to happen. Oh, I shall be all right, I expect. The bear bent down to do up its case again. And as he did so, Mrs Brown caught a glimpse of the writing on the label. It said simply, please look after this bear. Thank you. This is an extract from a bear called Paddington. It's something that we all need to take notice of. Mr and Mrs Brown saved a lonely bear from deepest, darkest Peru. They gave him friendship, love, and something he could call a family. Chair, as we talk today about loneliness, we need to listen to Michael Bond's words. Michael was someone I knew well who took inspiration from lonely refugee children with tags around their necks fleeing London during the Second World War. This inspired his story about Paddington. His stories are more than a great child's favourite. They are stories about how each, how each one of us can play a small part in reducing loneliness, like Mr and Mrs Brown did for Paddington. Loneliness occurs across the globe, from refugee children in war-torn countries who have lost their family and belongings to places close to home in my constituency of Combe Valley. The Clems Garden Project in Linley is a community project in Combe Valley designed to reduce loneliness in over 50s through the simple act of gardening.